Getting started with online learning. Online learning at South Metropolitan TAFE is delivered through Blackboard Learn. Course materials within Blackboard exist in a closed, secure environment. These materials are only accessible to registered students, the lecturer and the Blackboard administrator. When you log into Blackboard you will see a list of the online courses you have enrolled in. Each unit will contain information including unit outlines, assessments and learning tasks. In each task you will find readings and activities for you to work through. You will have access to communication tools allowing you to contact your lecturer and other students. To log into Blackboard you will need a computer that meets the minimum system requirements for Blackboard, uses Google Chrome, Firefox or Safari internet browsers and has an active internet connection. Logging into and exiting Blackboard. To log into Blackboard, open the browser window, click into the address bar and enter blackboard.southmetrotafe.wa.edu.au. In the username box, enter your student ID number. For example, 3001234. Or P123456 or M123456. In the password box, enter your password. Your initial password will be TAFE and your date of birth in the format of uppercase T, lowercase AFE, then the day day, month month, year year, year year of your birth. For example, if your birthday is the 16th of March 1989, your password will be uppercase T, lowercase afe, 16031989. Once you change your password via your Office 365 account, you will need to use this password to log in. If you are having trouble logging in, please contact your lecturer or call 1-800-001-001 or email info at smtafe.wa.edu.au. Remember, do not share your login and password with anyone. Once you have entered your login and password, click Login to continue. When you have logged in, you will see the My Blackboard page. Here you can access help, read announcements and access the courses you are enrolled in. To exit Blackboard, click on the Log Out button on the top right hand side of your Blackboard screen. This is especially important if you are using a shared public computer in a public place. The My Blackboard page. The first page you see when logging into Blackboard is the My Blackboard page. On the top right hand corner is the User menu. This menu is available whenever you are in Blackboard. Clicking on the My Blackboard link returns you to this page. You can also access the library website from this menu. There are two dashboards on the My Blackboard page, the My Organization dashboard and the Notifications dashboard. On the left hand side of the My Organization dashboard is your current training module. This shows a list of the qualification and unit slash clusters you are currently enrolled in in Blackboard. You can access the online content by clicking on its title. You can change the display order by clicking on the cogwheel. If you do not see anything listed here, please ask your lecturer for assistance. In the center of the screen, the My Announcement module displays messages from your lecturers. Keep an eye on these for important time sensitive information. Below this, the What's New module shows if there are any additions to your units or clusters within the last seven days. These additions can be tests and surveys, assignments, blogs, discussion posts, course messages, or additional content. On the right side of your screen is the Password Expiry module. This shows the number of days until you will need to reset your password. 
The Blackboard login screen has an announcement which provides the information about how to change your password, including the link. My Tasks shows any tasks from your lecturers and allows you to create yourself a to-do list of tasks, complete with a due date and priority. The Tools module displays a variety of tools you can access within Blackboard and contains information from all of your courses. Please take note of the copyright notice below. If you need further information about the My Blackboard page, it is available from Blackboard Help. Blackboard Courses. You will find that there are two types of courses or Blackboard shells, one for the whole qualification you are studying and one for the individual units or clusters. The qualification shell has the name of the qualification you are enrolled in. Here is where you will find general information relating to your qualification, such as orientation and industry information. To access your qualification Blackboard shell, click on its title in the current training list. Once you are in your Blackboard shell, accessing the information is done from the left hand menu by clicking on the links. These menu items contain sections for college orientation, the qualification outline and support services. To exit the qualification shell, click on My Blackboard on the user menu. The unit or cluster shell can have the name of the unit you are enrolled in or an overall name for a group of units you are enrolled in, depending on how the unit is delivered. These shells are where you will find your learning resources, assessments, grades and communication tools. This is where you will spend the majority of your time in Blackboard. Click on a unit or cluster Blackboard shell link to view the online content. The welcome page will open. The left hand menu allows you to access the learning content, the assessments, your assessment results under My Grades, the communication tools and the staff contacts for the unit or cluster. To access this information, click on the menu links. The content will appear in the centre of your screen. On the welcome page there is an introduction, the delivery and assessment plan or DAP for your unit and the delivery and assessment plan acceptance link. The learning content is where you will find most of your learning material. The course delivery in Blackboard will follow the same schedule as the DAP. Information for all your assessments for the units or clusters, including how the assessments are to be submitted, can be accessed under the assessment link. All assessments are required to be completed by the due dates as stated in the DAP. Please note, if you can't see the assessment information, you need to complete the DAP acceptance quiz located in the welcome section. Results for assessments in the unit or cluster can be viewed by going to My Grades in the left side menu. Clicking on My Grades will show you the assessment and the result. The communication page allows you to see any unit or cluster announcements as well as send emails to others in your course. Staff contacts give you the main points of contact for your course, your lecturer, unit coordinator where applicable, as well as any administrative contacts. Remember, when using the Blackboard communication tools, be polite and respectful, clear and concise and follow online etiquette. Accepting the DAP. One of the first tasks you need to undertake is to accept the delivery and assessment plan or DAP. The DAP is your key to knowing what you are learning and when. It provides a summary of your assessment requirements. It also outlines the resources you need to complete your course, how you will be assessed and when your assessments are due. Click on the Welcome section on the left hand side menu to find your DAP PDF file. Once you have read and understood your DAP, click on the Delivery and Assessment Plan Acceptance Quiz link. Read the instructions and click Begin to start. Read question 1 and if you agree, answer Yes by clicking on the Yes radio button. 
To save this response, click Save and Submit. If you wish to answer no, then please discuss this with your lecturer. Once you click Save and Submit, click OK, OK and OK again. Once you have accepted the DAP, you can access the learning content and all of your assessments. Submitting an assessment online. Once you have completed your assessment and wish to submit it, click on the assessment tool link. This opens the assessment point. Under the assignment submission heading, write your submission by clicking on the write submission button or click browse my computer to upload a file from your USB or desktop. Once you have found your document, click open to upload your file. Once the file appears on the screen, click Submit. Be aware that when you click the Submit button, you are formally declaring that the work attached is your own. Do not click Submit if this is not the case, and do not allow others to access your Blackboard account, as you will be held accountable for anything submitted using your login details. When completing any submission, you are acknowledging that the submission is your own work and all sources of information used within it that is not your own has been referenced. Your assignment slash test may be selected by South Metropolitan TAFE for use in moderation and audit processes to ensure validity, sufficiency, authenticity and currency. Results for assessments in the, in the unit or cluster can be viewed by going to My Grades in the left side menu. If you can't see your assessments listed, please complete the DAP acceptance quiz under Welcome. Where there is no result, a dash will appear. Once your assessment has been resulted, you will see a result under Grade. If a speech icon appears next to your result, you have a comment from your lecturer. Please click on this to open it. If you have any questions regarding your assessment results, comments and suggestions, please contact your lecturer. We hope you enjoy your studies at South Metropolitan TAFE.